Welcome to Pulse of Cyber Command. I'm Terrence, and here is where you command your cyber life. Thank you for all returning viewers and new viewers out there. Um, I really appreciate the support that you folks have been giving me. And please like and subscribe to the video. It really helps the channel. I really want to get my knowledge out there and give back to the community, especially those who are trying to break into cyber. We are going to be talking about cybersecurity for beginners in 2024. I'm going to give you a few tips on what I believe will help you figure out how to transition if you're transitioning from the military or if you're transitioning from another industry. Also, for those who are in school, maybe studying computer science or cybersecurity, kind of want to know what's going on and what they need to do to really stand out in the job market. And you really need it right now, to be honest with you. So let's get right into it. Number one, foundational knowledge. I believe it doesn't matter where you end up as far as your niche or your role, you have to have foundational knowledge. Now, not just cybersecurity knowledge, but also IT, because cybersecurity is just a, a subdomain of IT. And you do need to understand particularly how hardware and software work, and then you can kind of think about how you're going to protect it. So definitely with foundational knowledge, you can go through free resources or you can go through paid resources. I started out with a few free resources. I'll get into that in a little bit. And I also use paid, which I use a lot of paid resources now and a free resource here and there. So as far as foundational knowledge, you want to go with something maybe like Hack the Box, which has some free trials and very very inexpensive ways of learning foundational cybersecurity knowledge right now i'm doing their SOC analyst path i also finished information security fundamentals have been really helpful for me to understand a little bit more about cybersecurity and and kind of iron out some of the topics that i'm a bit rusty on or maybe weak on but I believe that would really help you. Also, you do have the option of going through foundational certs. Now, you can go with Security Plus, like I did. I went with CompTIA Security Plus. Now, please understand, I'm not telling you, if you get a certification, you'll get a job in cybersecurity. That's not how it works, I can assure you. I got that to help kind of bolster and support my bachelor's degree in cyber cybersecurity. I got my security plus last year and it was the best choice I, I could I could have made for myself. So if you want, you can also go with the GAIAC, which is a bit more expensive, the GAIAC GSEC, you can go with that. That's very expensive. So be definitely mindful of that. I believe it's around eight to nine thousand dollars to go through their course before you get certified. And that's before taking the test, but they're the gold standard. Uh, also, there's the option of the ISC2, formerly known as ISC squared. I'm probably just going to call them ISC squared because that's what they've always been. Uh, the SSCP. Now, all three of those certifications are 8570 baseline certified. Okay, so DOD baseline certifications are able to have you qualify for uh, government technical roles in IT and cybersecurity. So I definitely recommend certs that are 8570. If they'll help you in your foundational knowledge, it's worth looking into. And that'll take me into number two. Number two, learn a programming language. Now I did use Coursera. I used the Michigan uh, course for the intro to Python programming course. And I can tell you that really set me up to really know that programming languages, knowing a program language and being able to identify it, especially on exams too, in certification exams, because a lot of CompT exams, you have to know uh, Bash, 
uh, you know, for Linux, and you have to identify indicators of compromise, and sometimes that'll be through scripting languages like Ruby, Perl, PowerShell. I, I definitely recommend going with either Python or PowerShell because you can quickly pick those up and learn. That brings me to number three, which I believe may be the most important because in my experience, finding my niche really helped me get on the right path and that really helped me focus because there's so much information out there uh, in cybersecurity and information security. Information security is huge because cybersecurity is kind of um, several subsets of that, you know, of information security domains like malware analysis, um, threat analysis, vulnerability management, you know, things of that nature, governance, data privacy. So if you really want to stand out in cybersecurity, I definitely recommend looking into whether you want to go to uh, red teaming or blue teaming, purple team. I won't give you all the colors. There's several more, but I recommend figuring out whether you want to be a SOC analyst or an incident responder or an ethical hacker or GRC. If you want to be in governance, risk, and compliance, that's, that's booming right now. I believe out of all of the roles out there, GRC, they always need GRC analysts or risk analysts. So yeah, it's definitely, that's definitely work worth looking into, especially if you have a background in, in doing clerical work or audits, that could be the, the launch pad for you. Uh, for myself, it's all, it's been always about cloud. I love the cloud. So I started learning about cloud certifications and doing home labs. And, you know, I, I just knew my path was going to be with, with cloud computing. So definitely find your niche. I told a person one time who uh, approached me and said, hey, I used to be a, a fireman. What uh, should I specialize in? And I told them, um, you're a firefighter, so maybe you should look into incident response because that's basically what incident responders do is they respond to fires and put them out. And I thought maybe that's worth looking into and that was my advice. But, you know, there's also security analysts, which is what I am right now in information systems security analyst and I love my work, I love the company that I work for and everything's a challenge and I think each niche has a different challenge and whatever team you uh, want to play on, you have to understand that there's a different level of understanding and comprehension for each. So you definitely want to be targeted to get into this industry. So the sooner you find your niche, the sooner you will be on the right path for you and command your life. So uh, hopefully that helps you. Thank you if you stayed this long to watch the video. And I really want to get this knowledge out there. Definitely let me know if you have any other topics I should you know, speak on. I'll definitely um, look forward to, to doing that. So keep your finger on the pulse of cyber and I'll see you next time.